This process goes through the installation of installing the Intelligent Cash Box module onto a WBA. The process has, is different depending on how old the WBA is. For the older units, which can be identified by a bracket that does not have any holes on the processor board, and inside the unit it would look like this. For this module, what you need to do is remove the processor board, which is on each side, the top screw in the front on each side, plus a small screw for the rod that holds in the validator head. Take off six cables, three on each side on the bottom, then a seventh cable that's on the outside. You can slide the processor board out. You need to remove the processor board from the existing bracket. That's a small screw. Remove, separate this process board in the bracket. You'd install a new bracket that has some mounting brackets for the ICB module. And sliding the process board in, put the screw back in, make sure the cable on the back side is connected. Slide the module back into the transport and then using two screws, secure the ICB module to the, the bracket and then run a cable from the connector on the ICB module down to the processor board, a brown connector. If you have a newer unit, the process is much simpler. What you have is a bracket that has three holes in the front, and the ICB module comes in a bracket already assembled, and you just position the bracket winding up the three holes, Two have pins, the third one's a screw. Put a screw into the third hole, plug the cable into the processor board. If you have the newer bracket, you do not need to remove the processor board. You can install the ICB mounting bracket just by putting the bracket on the right position, put the screw in, connect the cable. That's what it takes to install the Intelligent Cashbox system on a WBA.